Hello everyone, it's Helder here, and today I wanted to go ahead and review these Lems Bolter, Boulder Boots. Uh, I got them from a company called Huckberry, and I'll get more into detail on that later. Uh, those of you that have been uh, following me for a while are aware that uh, I am a big proponent on uh, minimalist uh, footwear. And uh, let me share a little bit of a reason why. Um, years back, I had some injuries, and uh, a lot of them sustained in the military, in the Marine Corps and uh, ended up getting out as a service-connected disabled veteran. One of the issues that I do have is in my right knee, I do not have meniscus or an ACL uh, ligament. So uh, over the years, speaking with doctors and giving me all of my options, which are pretty much surgery and painkillers and all sorts of shots and uh, putting ligaments from cadavers uh, in my uh, right knee, I really didn't like any of those options, but they did tell me, listen, you want to continue having a, an active lifestyle or you want to begin having an active lifestyle or any kind of uh, lifestyle, you're going to have to opt for this surgery. Uh, I didn't like those choices. I didn't like those answers. So I began to delve a little bit in uh, research, which is definitely in my nature, and uh, started studying more and learning more about minimalist uh, footwear. And let me give you a few benefits of why I uh, choose to utilize minimalist footwear as often as I can. Now, one of the comparisons that I like to give, this is just a boot uh, that belongs to my wife, so just for the purpose of this uh, demonstration, I'm utilizing it, so nothing to do with the model maker or anything like that. But they all kind of follow the same suit. We have all of this, uh, let's say, technology here, kind of taking our body out of the equation because we're asking the shoe to do the work. I like to equate it to uh, a snow tire back in the day. On our vehicles for regular standard driving, we would put on uh, the nice finely tuned tires, but whenever the snow came and all sorts of uh, uh, weather that was going to wreak havoc, we would switch and put these heavy snow tires on so that you couldn't feel anything, your car couldn't feel anything, it could just barrel through. Well, that's the same analogy that we're looking through when we're asking technology to do the work that our body should actually be doing so that they could build, so that they could feel. I mean, think about it. You have all this technology here. I would never feel anything that I'm walking on. Now, with these boulder boots, you could tell that there's just not much to them at all. There's no arch. There's a zero drop here. So I'm much more in tune with the ground that I'm walking on, not only to be able to feel what's going on and not walk on all these uh, hazardous areas, so to speak, but... At the same time, every time, every step that I'm taking, I'm retuning my body because I'm getting the feedback from the ground as opposed to masking it uh, with technology in uh, these other type of boots that are not minimalist, uh, which will bode much better and allow me to do what I'm doing now over the last uh, however many years that uh, every doctor told me that I couldn't do unless I had these operations. So this is just my experience uh, as a layperson and uh, something that I really want to share with you because... Uh, there's a lot of you out there that might be experiencing the same things, and uh, it would be great to just give it a shot without being able to uh, go under the knife, so to speak, with any kind of surgery. So to attest basically to the portability and convenience of these Lem Boulder boots, I have one of my go bags here, and it's the smallest go bag that I have. Uh, use it mainly for traveling, uh, day hikes. But uh, just to show you, what I like to do is I have a, a waterproof bag here, and what I do is keep my boulder boots in there because if I am going out in the field and it opens up as far as rain and the weather, I know that they're protected in there and I have something dry to put on. On the flip side of that, if I am using this while I'm out in the field, get them soaked up, uh, get them full of mud, I can go ahead, put them in the dry bag, know that I can put them back in my pack and it's not going to interfere and, uh, you know, dirty up everything else that's in my pack. So you can tell here I have the Lem boulder boots, all right, so just convenience, all right, so you could tell. Uh, the minimalist approach not only is it great for your body, but it's also great for the portability and of course for the ease of it fitting inside of your go bag. Now some of you have seen my reviews uh, for Vibrams, uh, for the Merrill uh, Trail Gloves. Uh, you've seen that I've completed the New York Marathon with the Vibrams and completed the Tough Mudder, the 12.1 miles with uh, the Vibrams. Once again, this isn't to brag, many people have done that. But what I'm trying to convey is the doctors had said one thing, I challenged it, kind of trained a certain way, and was able to achieve what I wanted to achieve uh, when... Uh, Medical doctors were, of course, telling me that I couldn't. Is this going to work for everybody? No. It takes a lot of time, a lot of patience, a lot of work, a lot of diversified training. But if you do want to achieve that, it's possible. So that's really what I want to kind of share with you. Uh, as far as these limbs, all right, they're pretty good looking uh, boots to begin with. And uh, what I do like about them as opposed to the other minimalist type shoes is they're an actual boot. 
So you have a lot more uh, protection when you're out there. A lot of times uh, our natural training center members that do use minimalist uh, footwear will be out on the hikes and they end up saying that the rocks are biting because they'll end up kicking a certain uh, rock or a ledge or you know some kind of a little hill or just a tree root or something and that's going to sting for a while, right? So uh, having something like, like, a, like this boot, not only is it going to add so much more comfort and more of a feeling of being grounded while you're out there uh, hiking and aiding your body and building your body by working all your, uh, your biomechanics as you're walking, you're getting a lot of good stuff. All right, just by doing one task, and we're always looking for multi-purpose, whether it's from a health issue, whether it's building our attributes to be more prepared. So, uh, you know, what better than building with every step that you take? Now, these boulder boots are not waterproof. They're uh, water resistant inside. They're made of uh, cotton. So keep that in mind, okay? If you're just uh, skimming through on a hike, uh, you'll be good to go. And the good thing is they do dry relatively quick. Uh, but... If you are looking for something that's waterproof, that's gonna keep your feet waterproof, then these definitely are not what you're looking for. Uh, but what a lot of our, our members have used, and I've seen them use these lem type shoes uh, before, is after a hike, once we get back to base camp and you're walking around with your heavy boots and you just wanna relax and give your feet uh, a rest, and at the same time, still have your protection, uh, still have some comfort. Uh, and uh, I couldn't recommend these uh, anymore uh, than I'm recommending now. They filled a niche and a void that was out there on the market, and uh, I'm glad that they were addressed, and I'm glad that I uh, was sent these to review, uh, or else I probably wouldn't have been aware of them, and uh, now I get to share this uh, information with you. As usual, I will put all the specs in the blog, uh, as far as the weight and uh, the construction and all the other good stuff, uh, as far as the uh, manufacturer specifications, and I will also put uh, where you can purchase these. Uh, like I said, I definitely recommend uh, the uh, the company that sent me these to review. Uh, they're good to go, and not just because they sent it to me, but I've done business with them in the past, and uh, they stick by their product, and they also have the uh, cheapest prices out there, which is something that I'm always looking for uh, to share with our subscribers. If you're looking for something that's gonna add a lot of comfort, uh, something that's gonna add versatility, that fits totally in your pack, all right, without even thinking twice about it, uh, go ahead and take a look at these Lem, uh, Lem's Boulder Boots. I uh, think you'll be pleasantly surprised. This is Helder, hope you enjoyed this review.